Hello Angular developers. Today we are diving into one of the most crucial aspects of web development, making HTTP requests. We will explore how to use Angular's HTTP client to communicate with a server. So let's get started. Currently you can see on my screen that my Angular 18 project is already created and running in the browser. I'm using VS code. So let's start by making the HTTP client available throughout your application. If you are using Angular version that is older than 17, then you can simply import the HTTP client module by adding it in the imports array of the app.module. But if you are using Angular 17 or above than that version, then you would have to go to the app.config.ts and in the providers array you have to pass a function provide http client okay make sure to import it from the angular slash common slash http save it once that is done you need to inject your http client in your service or in the component where you want to make the http request i'm just going to use the app.component.ts so i will simply go to the app.component.ts and first of all i will create a property private api url is equal to so this is the base url for my endpoint and now i need to inject the http client service for that i would simply define a property http is equal to inject make sure to import the inject function from the angular slash core and pass it the service that you want to inject i want to inject the http client make sure to import the http client as well from angular slash common slash http and after that i need to define few functions get posts so i'm using the get function from the http client and i'm passing the my endpoint url now i need to create another function get post that would get get a single post by getting the id from the parameter the type of the id would be the number and the other code would stay almost same i will return the response of this dot http dot get pass it the api url but this time i will concatenate it with slash plus id okay because we want to get a specific post now i need another function that will create the post and the name can be create post and we will be getting the post from the parameter okay we will return the response of this dot http dot post we are we are calling the post function this time and we will pass this dot api url also the second parameter would be post that is the data that we want to insert now we need to define two more functions update and delete so this is a simple code to update the post i'm calling the put function from the http and we are passing the post as a second argument and we are also passing the post id as the url parameters and then we need to define our last function delete post and this function would be expecting the id as of the type number and we will be returning the response of the delete function in the delete function i'm passing the url and the id after the slash okay save it now it's time to use these functions in our component so first of all i need to go to the app.component.html i will remove everything from here and first of all i will add the h1 tag that will display the heading posts and after that i will use the for loop and in the for loop i will create a variable with the name post of get posts okay let me make sure the name of this function yes this is get posts copy this function name and paste it here okay and here i will use the async pipe and i need to add the track post dot id okay i am getting this error I will create a property dollar sign posts and I will call this dot get posts in this way. So the observable will be saved in the posts 
variable now instead of calling this function here i will simply use the posts i think we are getting this error async not found because we need to add common module in the app.component.ts so here if you are using angular 17 or above than that version then just add the common module in the imports array okay now error is a diff is of different type this is a typescript error if you go if you go to the app.component.ts here i just have to add the type a generic type so if you do that it will not complain about that okay but the better approach is that you should define the types proper interfaces and then use them here instead of just use the any okay anyways now within that for i will add the h2 tag that will have the post title and then i will have the paragraph with body and there is another block in the for syntax that is empty so if there is no data yet it will show a paragraph that would say no posts found you can change the text if you want to okay now save it okay if you reload it you will see that very first time it shows that default text no posts found you can see then after some time it loads the actual data from the api okay it sends the http request to the back end and it gets the response back that displays on the screen here you can see the network request going to this endpoint and this is the response all right now one uh, improvement that i would do is that i will create a service and move all of these functions into the service that is a better practice so let's do that and the name service name of service would be post okay all right the service has been generated now let's move all of our code there in this way cut it and paste it here simply all right now we need to import the inject function and the http client service from the angular slash common slash http and now go to the app.component.ts actually we should move the posts variable from here to the app.component.ts and also we need to inject this newly created service so for that i will create a property post service is equal to inject make sure to inject i import the inject function and pass it the post service and you also have to import the post service like this and now instead of using this dot get posts i will use the service this dot post service dot get posts okay now i'm getting this error property post service is used before its initialization so to fix that i will move it after the inject statement okay everything looks great and everything is still working here so if you want to manage other things in detail then instead of using the async pipe here you can just get rid of that and just rename it to the simple posts variable and fix it here as well and by default i will give it give it the empty array and below that i will create a constructor and within that constructor i will call the get posts function from the post service and subscribe to it it will give us a data and we will assign that data to the posts variable and as we want to be able to handle the error so instead of passing it a callback function i will just pass it an object and that object will ex uh, expect two properties in next and error that would be expecting the callback function in the next we know that if this callback function is executed that's mean everything was fine and we received the data so we assigned the data to the posts but if there was an error then we will simply show it in the console or we can display it to the user if we want to okay save it so for better Maybe. error handling you can use the rxjs operators so let's go to the actually let me fix it first here for now i will add the type any array that will fix the typescript errors here but again i am telling that you should have used the proper interface for example you should have created an interface like this interface post 
and it will have all of the properties like user ID, or ID, title, body, etc. And then you should have assigned it here. Okay, so this is how you should work normally. But I'm just trying to keep this video simple. That's why I'm using any. Okay, now go to the go to your post dot service and there I will use the pipe function on the get posts function. So here, as you know, that get function will give us the observable and every observable has the pipe function on it. So you can just call it and within that function, you can pass multiple RxJS operators. I, for now, I will pass only one RxJS operator that would be catch error and I will call this function and this will be expecting a callback function but I will define the callback function separately so I will just refer to it by using this dot handle error now I just need to define this function here handle error you can set the visibility to the private because we just want to use this function within this service we don't want to use it outside of this service so you can just set it to the private and within that you can console the log and further you can return the response of the throw error okay make sure to import the catch error operator and throw error operator from the rxjs and in the throw error you have to pass a callback function that would return the custom error that you will create like this new error and we will pass the we can pass the actual error or you can pass the custom error like something went wrong save it and similarly you can uh, use this catch error operator in all of these endpoints to handle errors gracefully okay save it you will notice that everything is still working fine if something wrong happens then it will handle the error with the help of this function now we will quickly talk about using http params for the query parameters if you need to add query params or query parameters then we have to create another function here get posts with params and this function would be expecting the user id of type number and here i will create a property params and instantiate the http params make sure to import the http params from the angular slash common slash http and just call it and then we have function set just call that function and add or set all of the parameters that you want to set first parameter would be the user id and we will take the user id from the parameter okay so now i will return this dot http dot get and pass this function the api url and also we need to pass the params that we want to use okay save it now let's try to use it but before that let me check that what user ids we are getting in the network so just reload it to see the response of the posts open it and user id is one okay so let's copy this and go to the app.component.ts and this time i will use this function and i need to pass the user id that is one okay so let me add any here okay now if you reload it you can see that the user id is being added in the api url that we are building and it is returning us the correct response and in this time you would, would notice that user id is one in all of these posts if you pass an incorrect id like this then it will return an empty array and you would see the text message saying that no posts found all right let's revert it now let's quickly talk about adding the headers to add the custom headers just create a constant in your service on the top of the service i will just define a constant http options is equal to object and in the object there is a property headers make sure to use that and we will pass it the instance of the http headers that should be imported from the angular slash common slash http like this and we will pass it an object that will have two properties i mean it can be any other property or any property whatever 
is the requirement of your application but i'm just giving you example in most of the cases you want to pass the content type application slash json or maybe you want to pass the authentication or authorization token to authenticate your api requests so you can just add it here there might be better ways to include the token maybe you would be using the interceptors to handle the adding of the tokens globally from one area but this is just a simple example so i'm just showing you that this is how you will add the headers so this is the reusable constant that has the custom headers in it we can just use it whenever we want to use for example you want to create a post okay so to create a post if you want to pass a custom header there is a third parameter available in the post function just pass it that would be the http options okay just save it and it should definitely work let me show you if i call this function then this option should be used by adding all of these headers so for that i may have to call this function so in the app.component.html i will add a button here that would say that add post and let's rename this text as well add post save it now let's define that function in our app.component.ts and now i will use this dot post service dot create post and i need to pass it all of the information that i need to pass so title new post so this is the object that uh, that i needed to pass it because i already have defined here that i need a post as the parameter so i must have to pass it so i passed that post and i subscribed to the response of the post function that would be called inside that service and in that subscribe function i'm passing an object with the next and error properties that will show the success message or show the error okay now let's click on the add post by the way in the real world application obviously you will be using the for real form or inputs and you will be taking the values from the input part. but as we just want to keep this tutorial simple so i just hard coded these values okay let's click on the add post and keep an eye on the network area here in the inspect element just to see if everything works correctly okay there's a 201 status that's mean that the entry was inserted in the database and there was no error if you click on that i just want to uh, observe the headers that we created i just want to verify that if it was included or not so go to the headers tab in the network and find the request headers so this is the request headers area and here you can see the authorization my auth token that i added here let me show you in the service here so this is the token and content type if you find that that was also added so whatever you will add here it would be included for example it is it can be anything like xyz abc if you do that that would also be included so let's just do that and open that network request and look at this xyz abc was included as the header in this network request okay all right and there you have it you have learned how to make http requests in angular 18 using http client from basic get requests to more complex operations with parameters and headers you are now equipped to communicate effectively with your backend services remember to always handle errors and use types use types for better code quality I hope that I was able to provide you some value and you enjoyed this video. If that's the case, then please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on the bell icon to get notified for my upcoming content. And also please like and share this video. If you have any questions or feedback or suggestions, then please feel free to leave them in the comment section below and I would do my best to reply you as soon as possible. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Goodbye.